Welcome to this week's edition of Tinkernut.com's videocast. In this episode, what we're going to do is create Facebook widgets. And what you'll need for this is, of course, a Facebook account. And then you'll also need a Microsoft PopFly account. And this is what's going to create the widgets. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a map of all of your different Facebook friends. And we're also going to create a carousel of all your different Facebook pictures. So, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to www.popfly.com and sign up for a PopFly account. Now this is through Microsoft, so uh, what you'll need to do is if you have a Windows Live ID, just sign in with that. And, and if you don't, then just go ahead and create one. But just enter your credentials and then click sign in. Then what you're going to want to do is create a mashup. So click on the create a mashup link. And this is going to load the mashup interface. And you'll see on the left hand menu you have all sorts of different options. So the first thing we're going to do is drag a Facebook widget to, uh, to the stage. And it's going to say missing key if this is the first time that you've used it. So just click on that and it's going to have you request a Facebook key. So uh, if you already have a Facebook account, just click log in. If not, you'll need to create one before it will allow you to get a key. So after you log in, uh, just click generate and it's going to generate uh, a key for you. So just uh, copy that key and then go back to the PopFly account and enter it into there. Then after you click update, you'll see that it'll change to um, from missing key to now you have a key. So the next thing we're going to want to do is drag a virtual earth widget to the stage and also a GeoNames widget. And GeoNames is going to, uh, it's a little program that will locate where our Facebook friends are located at. So now if you click on the little Facebook tools icon, um, you, you want to change the operation to get friends and then you can set the value to however many friends that you want to map. And then you can just click to get out of that and then you want to link the Facebook widget to the GeoNames widget and then go to the GeoNames properties. You want to set the source to Facebook and you want to set the value to, to city. Now what you want to do is link both Facebook and GeoNames to the virtual earth widget. And uh, for the most part whenever you go to the properties of this everything is as it should be. It's getting the information from GeoNames about uh, longitude and latitude and it's getting the pictures from Facebook. So then you can just click preview. It's going to bring up a, a map of the United States or a map of the world depending on where you're located and then it's just going to show some of where your friends are located at. So it's a pretty neat little widget and uh, you can mess around with that and then if you click customize at the bottom of the screen it'll take you back and then you can click save and save your widget and just type in any name for what you want to call it put in a description I'm just gonna put map of Facebook friends and then just accept and save and this will save it to your account and I'll show you what you can do with that later alright we'll go ahead and close out of uh, the virtual earth and geo names widget we're gonna go back to the menu and drag over a photo stack widget and uh, this is just a little display widget and in the Facebook properties we're gonna just set it to get photos of me you can set it to whatever you want later but this is just for the example then link it to photo stack and for the most part the photo stack information by default will be right and then you can click preview and it's gonna bring up uh, pictures from your Facebook account alright so now what you want to do is go to my stuff and then select projects go to uh, mash or you want to share it first so click share and then it will give you the mash out option and from here you can select to send as an e-card post to your Facebook if you have Vista you can put it as a sidebar widget um, but what I'm gonna do just to show you what it will look like is I'm gonna click embed it and then just uh, copy this little URL here and then paste it into my web browser and this is going to be the exact URL to um, uh, the little widget that we created so there's the widget right there so that's something that you can show your friends um, 
For more, go to www.tinkernut.com.